Good morning guys, I hope everybody's well. These are my KEF RDM1s. Now, what I'd really like to do here is have a pair of KEF LS50s for this test, but I haven't got a pair, so these will have to do. And the reason I've mentioned LS50s is there's a strange connection with a pair of speakers I'm about to discuss. KEF, when they designed the LS50, which is a UniQ driver array like this, they needed a reference speaker to build from. So they were trying to recreate a very modern mini monitor, that kind of LS50, sorry, LS35A for the modern market. And the speaker they used for modeling the LS50 were these KEF A Compacts. There's two reasons I've mentioned the A Compacts. Firstly, they were the reference speaker in designing the LS50, which are similar to these. And secondarily, I've just supplied a pair of A-Compacts for a very good friend of mine who lives the other side of the world. Now, A-Compacts often come up in conversations I have with people because A, they're incredibly good, B, they're very, very small, and C, they cater for a wide variety of music. So unlike certain mini monitors that are really good at, say, vocal stuff or classical music, when you move into the more modern sounding music, sort of more bass heavy kind of music, those 1960s, 70s monitors really sort of fall flat on their face, as where the A Compact delivers a real solid punch and can really cater for a wide variety of music. They're an exceptionally good pair of speakers. Now, Kef used the A Compact in modeling the LS50, and in all honesty, I don't really think the LS50 is better than the A Compact, because it's a lot bigger. It's not really a fair comparison. But the comparison I'm gonna to do today is between my Kef RDM1s and my friend's A Compacts, which have just arrived. So we're gonna play some music through these, and then I'll play some music through the A Compacts, and we'll discuss what the differences are. They don't actually sound a lot like LS50s. LS50s are a more modern sounding speaker. They've got a lot more low end and can deliver that real bass punch, which these can't. But these are very good in a near field position and very good on vocal stuff. They have got a little bit of coloration in the mid range, but I think that's something you could get used to over time. And I'm fairly used to running SL600s, which don't have that kind of coloration. But I find these quite pleasant to listen to. So let's switch around to the A compacts and we'll see how they differ. Okay, I've switched the speakers around. We'll give the same track a try and then we'll discuss how different they sound. Get my new boots on. I get 
get a little warm in my heart when I think of winter. I put my hand in my father's clothes. I run off where the drifts get deeper. Sleeping beauty that trips me with a frown. I hear a voice, you must love. Okay, the most instantly noticeable fact about these is they have a little bit less lower mid-range coloration. Possibly due to a much smaller cabinet is going to have much less cabinet resonances. The, the sides, the front, the back, everything, all of the dimensions are smaller. So there's less chance for vibrations to occur inside the cabinet. They're also rear ported which allows an energy release so there's not so much energy stored up in the cabinet. But these definitely don't have the same vocal coloration as the Kefs. They actually have, considering they're a smaller driver, and more bass. <laughs> and the imaging is nearly as good as the RDMs. It's not quite as good, but they image fantastically well. Again, narrow baffle, very, very small speakers. The, the, the placement of them, it, they're just brilliant. They really are. So I'm so pleased to have found a really excellent condition pair of these for my friend. Um, I did advise my friend Steve on buying a pair. I didn't provide them for him. I don't always have to provide the speakers for somebody, but I quite like advising people. So if the setup, the style of music, the room placement, all fits the bill, we'll try and work out together the best speakers for a person. And with Steve, these tick the boxes perfectly. With my friend way over the other side of the world, I think these are gonna work excellently for his son as these are a gift to him and what a fantastic present they are. They say the best things come in small packages and the A compacts are exceptionally small. Um, I reviewed the LS35As the other day and these probably are now shorter even than them. They're deeper, but these are incredibly small. I don't think I've ever had a pair of speakers that are smaller than these, or if I have, they've certainly not sounded as good. These are an absolute genius design. And then honestly, I don't think the LS50 is better than these, it's not. And I know everything's relevant, so back when these were new, these were 400 pounds and the LS50 Meta is a thousand pounds, but you wouldn't have to pay a thousand pounds to get these now. That's the real sort of trick there, that some of these second-hand speakers, they might not have the technological advancements and they might not have the blurb that says they're the best thing ever, but realistically, in my opinion, these still outperform many speakers that are many more times their value, many more times their size, and I think these are truly wonderful pair of speakers. Anybody who gets to hear a pair of these will be very, very pleased. They're fantastic. My conclusion, I think these wipe the floor with the RDM1s, to be honest with you. I do love the RDM1s and they do certain music exceptionally well but I think these cover a wider variety of music and will play pretty much anything really well. So let's have a look for something that's just a little bit more bassy perhaps to give you an impression of what they can deal with.
Nola's track there, I do quite like a bit of drum and bass. The, the bass notes are all hit perfectly. There's no sudden peakiness or boominess coming out of any of those bass notes. So these <laughs> will go from Tori Amos to Easy Rollers to Saint Sons, Vivaldi. They can play anything. They actually play jazz pretty well as well. I think these are probably, in my opinion, one of the best two-way bookshelf speakers ever made, to be honest with you. There are certain bookshelf speakers that will do one thing a lot better than these, but perhaps won't do everything as, as well. So these are like a jack of all trades, but still a master of some, is probably the way I'd put it. Anyway, that's my long waffled review today, and I'm really pleased to have found these for my friend. I'm really pleased to advise anybody on a pair of speakers, especially if they really like them. <laughs> and these, I certainly do. Anyway, guys, take care.